Welcome back to Aga Hacker. It's uh, back to Caleb and I cutting some agates and uh, we've got, I think, what's gonna be amazing today. We don't know. We don't even know what these are. <laughs> yeah. He, he simply, he's, he's like, what are these we're cutting? And I'm like, yes, yes they are. These are, <laughs> these are, uh, from what I can gather, these are Mexican coconuts. It's kind of a general terminology for them, but they are geodes, solid geodes that are, uh, they have a red skin on the outside. So they're like, I think the name is like Cocorrojas. 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 So the, the, the name of these, I think, are Cocorrojas, which are red skinned Mexican coconut agates or, geodes. sorry, geodes, yeah. Uh, we don't know, but I can tell you this, they're giant and there's no way you can cut these. That's gonna be an issue. <laughs> We've got a 10 inch saw. These are gonna put that 10 inch saw to the test. I'm almost certain of it. Do you wanna get them wet and then see what they look like kind of? They're heavy, they're heavy, they're, they're solid. I don't think these are gonna be hollow geodes at all. These could be quartz centers, they could be amethyst. Basically a clear quartz or, or purple amethyst center, which I'm hoping for amethyst, that would be epic. So we have three of these bad boys and they are big and they are gonna take a long time to cut. But I mean, you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a pretty cool window there. I don't even know exactly the direction to cut these in. This will be an experiment. Hopefully it goes well so we can make an awesome video, video out of this and create some content for you guys. It'll be enjoyable. But um, I'm just hoping for a showstopper on these, to be honest. What about you? What are your thoughts? Yeah, pretty big. Bro, look at this one. This one's got no windows. Really? Except for at the top up there. Can you figure out which way you, you want to cut it? I would say probably like Right down there. Yeah, I don't see why not, dude. We don't even know what we're doing here. Yeah. But that's part of the fun. It's part of the excitement. I enjoy cutting um, rocks. <clears throat> not They don't always have to be perfect agates on the inside, but uh, yeah. for the most part, uh, the, the material that we purchase is usually pretty, pretty fire. But um, these in particular are an interesting mystery. All right. Uh, hey, if you like our content, We'd appreciate you. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. All three of those things would be amazing to help our little channel grow. Uh, this community has been amazing to us. We certainly appreciate everybody. Uh, we're excited to keep making these videos and share with you guys agates from all over the world. These ones are from Northern Mexico, Chihuahua, Mexico, near where Laguna agates are found. Um, I hope they're really amazing because I've been sitting on these for a bit and I've been wondering what's inside of them. Caleb's gonna do all the cutting. I'll do, I don't even know if I'm gonna get to polishing these Look because they're just, I know. I know. <laughs> Thumbnail. Yeah, dude, this is gonna be exciting. This is gonna be a jaw dropping. I know. Cutting experience. I don't even think I can polish these, they're so big. Yeah. I it's might pick one half of each that and, and get it polished and see how it works out. It'll be tough. Okay. All right. Let's see how it goes. I did not see that window. That thing is huge. Enormous. Good luck, sir. Oh, that was a it was faster than I thought it would be. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's Three, do this. Two. Whoa. <laughs> it's a quartz center. That's, it does have a little geode pocket. That's cool. Dude. That's amethyst. Is it? Maybe. There is a oh. little hint of purple. And this lighting doesn't show up in person. Look at there's crystals in this pocket. If you yeah. Look at you. Dude, that's why I cut pretty quick. It was pretty quartzy. That's still cool. I do like it. That's Amazing. Yeah, let me oh, zoom in. Look at the agates at the okay, bottom. Okay, let me zoom in. Look Can at you... the agates on the bottom. You see it? Oh, yeah. There's agate in there. Yeah, no, it's surrounded. It's got a little bit of everything in it. That is. Yeah, give us a little shine. A special rock. Okay, for, not bad for a first one. Not bad. Not bad for the first at one. All. Good job.
I'll give a little sneak peek there. Maybe. All right. Are we ready? Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Quartz bomb. Dude, look, look at the baby. bottom of it. I love the. I don't know if that's Jasper at the bottom There's or a what lot that going is. On. Look up here, the top. Dude, that is some pretty cool stuff in there. Is I like it. Mammoth? No. No, it is. I see the left is. Gosh, I wish the lighting would show. It's pretty purple on that left side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like starting to to go amethyst there, for sure. Oh, that looks really cool though. I kind of like it. I bet polished up. I like it. There's a lot of people that don't like quartz, but to me, I'm cool. so new to this that I'm, this type I think of quartz, it's beautiful. Let me, let me zoom in. This type of Let me zoom in. Amazing. Let me get really in there. Yeah, see that dude? How can you not like that? I think that shows that purple tint a little bit better as well. You know? Very cool. Very cool. That's a nice rock. I'll clean these up and take some good photos. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Ready? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it, the banding. Bring it up, bring it up here. The banding runs through it. No way. That's the best one. Save the best for last. Oh, look at it. There's a cross. Oh man. It's like that cross animation. <sighs> look at that. Dude, that is super crazy cool. That was, that's a success rock. Look at the sides on the inside. Dude, I love it. I love it. Okay. It's got a tint of purple to it. Purples, reds, whites, browns, rust colored. Whites, blues. Oh, wow. Look how pretty it is once it's rinsed off, bro. That's a, you know, I know it's got a huge quartz center, but I mean, it's got a tint of purple to it. So I'd venture to guess that some of that's amethyst and you know what? Look I just love. I love it. I love it just the way it is. Look it's beautiful. Here. That's probably amethyst. Dude, you did great. That's a great rock. That's pretty. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, good job, son. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Well, as if I don't have enough to do already, I have uh, decided to tackle a little project. The Mexican coconuts that we just cut are beautiful, and gonna be a lot more beautiful once we polish them. Normally, I just polish them on my Cab King. But with these bigger stones, a dry sander would probably work a lot better. Um, there's a lot of uh, lapidary shops that have dry sanders and they use them successfully to a high degree to get a beautiful shine on these types of stones. So here I am with a single phase motor and I'm gonna I'm gonna attach this power cord, and I do not advise you do this at home because it can be dangerous, especially when you're somebody like me trying to do something like this. Anyway, I'm gonna do that, and then I've got an on-off switch, which should make things fairly easy. Um, I've got a Arbor extender, Arbor extender. I've got an extension for the motor and then a seven inch wheel with hook and loop on the back for the different grits of sandpaper. So if you just put all this together, you should have a complete machine, theoretically. Or everything blows up and I uh, erase all this video. We'll see how it works. Okay, so I've got her done. It wasn't easy, but I got through it. Was able to attach the grinding wheel to the motor. I was able to actually wire a plug 
successfully with the diagram and also wire in a switch and put it on a stand. So all I need now to really is a dust collection device so that I'm not spraying dust everywhere because this is a dry sander. What this is hopefully going to allow me to do, and I hear it's a learning curve and I really got to um, practice a bunch with it, but a super dangerous machine because it's, it's spinning at 3,400 RPM. So it'll probably just be me using it, not Caleb. Um, but uh, I'll try to make it as safe as possible. Um, but anyway, what it's gonna allow me to do is take bigger, bigger stones like these. So these are the Mexican coconuts that we cut on this episode. And um, obviously I'm not gonna do it from this angle. I'm gonna be standing in front of it, but it's gonna be able to go through all the different grits, like 80 grit all the way through 3000 grit if I wanted it to. And it's gonna make pretty short work of getting all the scratches and saw marks out of these beautiful geodes. Um, I'm hoping that it goes well. I'm getting ready to get this thing started up and I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it works out because trying to polish these, these big boys here um, on the cabbing machine is nothing short of a nightmare. <laughs> Capping machine is really meant to make cabochons, which I haven't done on this channel yet, but I will. Sometimes I, you know, I've been using the capping machine obviously to, to polish these, and it takes sometimes an hour to, to get a mediocre polish on a stone like this on the capping machine. Not to mention it wears out the wheels, which are fairly expensive. So I'm really hoping that the, uh, that the dry sanding goes incredibly well. So, all right, that was a long-winded way of saying, yeah. Okay, so I tried the sander on a test rock and did, eh, okay. I uh, learned a few lessons from that, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to start polishing our Mexican red skin coconuts um, on the dry sander. This is 80 grit, let's see, let's see if we can make it work. Okay, so I just put like one spin past on the 1000 grit and yeah, indeed it did shine up. Now I'm noticing it isn't perfect. And if you're looking for perfect, um, I think I need to spend more time on each wheel, but I gotta get through six of these and I'm gonna do the best I can. And let's see if we can't at least put together something that is respectable. Okay, we're through the 2000 grit sandpaper and man it doesn't look half bad to be honest um i think what it really needs is a cerium oxide buff on a leather wheel or a carpet wheel which i do not have yet but it's coming um but it's man it's nice and flat that's for sure let's get it up close here nice and flat that's for sure um yeah, I mean, this, this is dry, so it's it's not so bad, to be honest with you. Anywhere where it's agatized, around the edges, it's super shiny. You know, that quartz center is a bit of a problem, but um, man, isn't it pretty? Gosh, I don't know what it is, but I love cutting these things open. I love polishing them, and I love seeing the inner beauty really come to life. Look at that, that lavender agate area there just spectacular man isn't that something as far as i'm concerned the old high speed sander is uh i mean i'm only going to get better at this you know and uh i'm excited to be honest it didn't take very long to get through those um all those sanding discs so anyway let me get through all of them and I'll take some pictures. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.